Hello everyone. This is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Class Power App. In this video, we try to print all the screen of the Power App from a single trigger. So far, there is no SS type functionality available. So we found one workaround and how we can implement that. Let me just show you. So I'm just taking to my screen. So here I have one app that is having three screens screen 2, screen 1 and screen 3 okay so let me just send it to on the first just move up yes now it's good and so it won't be confusing it is my screen 2 and this is my screen 1 okay okay so on the on every screen I have one button that is used to call the print function okay and this print function actually print the this screen okay on every screen I have this component okay on the screen one on either screen two and on the screen three as well so we need to implement something that can be used to print all three screens in one go okay so here I'll do I need to write my screen one my screen mm -mm, it hasn't changed yes now I think that's changed now screen three okay so what I'll do I'll simply add one button first and let's say it is a title print all Okay. now on the on select property of this what i'll do i simply try to trigger this com this control because this control is all already calling this function print okay so on the select, on select property of this i use one variable first set that variable i'm using just to ensure that if i have clicked this particular button okay so i used global where and and all this is my variable name and i'm just setting it to true later i want to first select this component this component with icon 2 underscore 1 okay so on the on slot property of this i use select icon two underscore one i c o n icon two underscore one. okay and later end of line i use one variable and later i'm navigating to my second screen that is my screen two and transaction i'm using as none okay so like that now i come to the second screen and here i add one timer okay i have used one timer and i use timer count to be let's say uh, 50 milliseconds down and here i can use this name is icon 2 okay the icon present on this screen which is calling print function is the icon 2 okay so what i do now go to the advanced property on on the on timer and i need to put some condition that is the if i have used one variable that variable name was global print all remember i use this variable on the on step property of first screen page okay if this value is is if this variable value is true then i'm selecting icon two okay. once the click done i navigate to third screen okay and transaction i'm using 
and on the all and then false okay right now i want this timer to be trigger first okay so how it would be trigger now on the on visible property of this i first reset this timer its name is timer 4 okay timer 4 later on i use one variable that that variable is actually showing some value okay so let's be str strt timer 1 and initializing some variable i'm passing true in this variable and i'm using this variable to turn on my timer now on the start i use this variable okay now when the system comes on this screen it simply turn on my timer after some time it simply call this function and this it called my print function and that will do the third screen i implement the same on the third screen as well okay so here my name is icon 2 underscore 2 so i use timer okay it's time to be let's say 50 milliseconds and on the on timer end what i'm doing i use if condition that variable that variable was global well print all if this value is true i select icon Two underscore two this one I can only and later on I navigate to screen one and transaction I'm using none also false for the false conditions and on the on visible property of this I need to first reset this timer so I say reset and my timer name is timer 5 timer 5 come out and now I use one variable that actually start my timer so I use start timer 2 and storing value true inside this and I use this variable to start my timer. Come to here and here on the start, I put it like that. Okay. Now I make the visual property of this timer to false so that it will not be visible. False. Yes, like that. And here too, I use the same on the visible properties of this false false yes okay now on the first screen i have some button that is to reload okay on this i'm just resetting all variable values to false okay so first value was that global variable name okay and make it as value false second was the values the variable that are used to trigger my timers okay so it was str timer one and set it to false later on second timer str timer two and it should be false also once my timer timings are done once my timer is on the end side i need to stop my timer okay so i go here and on the timer on the timer end at the timer end 
I'll simply make this value to false so that it would my timer would be stopped. Um, like my timer would not be start again. Okay, and the same I do for the third screen as well. On the on timer end here my timer is set my timer to this variable I'm using. Yes. Okay, so now let's try. First refresh all the values. Not try. Print all screen. First is it uh, print my second screen. Okay. So like print uh, SR2. Let's say screen two. Later on it open with my third screen. Again I write SR3. I hit save and now it open my first screen and I use SR1 okay now I'm back on the screen from where I have started I'll close this and now try to see here all my screens are here my second screen is in the PDF so here my first screen my second screen okay and my third screen okay so that is how I have achieved to print all the screens in a single click okay so this is actually a small workaround uh, that I have find okay so my next focus is to try to print all the screen in a single PDF right now we have created multiple PDFs okay not a single PDF maybe I'll try to find one any other approach from which I can download all the screen into a single PDF okay so yes guys that is all for this video if you like this please subscribe